We want to turn now to uh, Silicon Valley State Assemblyman Evan Lowe. He's the chair of the AAPI Legislative Caucus, um, and um, he's joining us now. And I understand that you were actually, there was a prayer vigil at the Capitol earlier today, but that was for the Monterey Park uh, massacre that happened over the weekend. And you learned about this shooting as that was prayer vigil was happening. Raj and Jessica, what is going on? Uh, this is such a devastation for all of us, not just in the state of California, but for the world. And it's important that we stand up to this type of firearm violence, this senseless firearm violence, and speak truth to the facts that this is only systemic in the United States and we must stand out with swift, swift reprimand and saying that this is unacceptable and calling on significant policy changes we must not be numb to this. We cannot, and we must not. Assemblymember, we seem to be saying this every time this happens. I even know the, the governor said this earlier today down in the L.A. area reacting to that shooting. And then, of course, now we have uh, another shooting here in our own backyard. Um, Statewise, let's just stick with that right now, because federally it, it's a lot more difficult. Statewise, what's on the horizon that can be tangibly done to curb some of this violence? Well, a number of things, but it's frankly, that's around the periphery, which is that of can we do things to track uh, the type of senseless firearm and the criminal cases on casings and working with the National Ballistics Registry to help ensure that we can solve crimes utilizing technology. But also, let's be very clear. This is fundamentally about the Second Amendment and the proliferation of firearms. This proliferation of firearms in the United States is only systemic in the United States. So why are we not talking about this specific issue? And what's most numbing and unfortunate to me specifically, as a policymaker, members of the public will think, how, where is the calvary? We demand our policymakers to make these changes. And I'm telling you both, Jessica and Raj, as a policymaker, I too am dumbfounded as to why we can't make these changes. But we're doing all that we possibly can in the state, but we need other states to take collective action and we need federal action as well. Assembly member, aside from the gun debate, we're, we're specifically now just talking about LA and Half Moon Bay of the AAPI, the Asian American community. Um, and this was crimes within the community from what we understand right now. Um, that's gotta be disheartening and troublesome uh, for you, especially because you're so active in the, in the community. Well, frankly, it's a realization that no community is immune from being attacked and being terrorized from that of firearms. And that's why it's the unfortunate reality that the AAPI community now is thrusted into the limelight to join in the course and saying that we need federal action, we need state action to collectively keep our community safe. Uh, that's what the focus should be on, specifically that on firearms devastating everyday lives. And it is unfortunate that during the Lunar New Year celebration, which is a day-long, week-long, and month-long celebration that is focused on talking about the prosperity and the joys of our celebration, when in fact we're talking about something that is taboo, especially during this time of celebration, which is that of having to acknowledge the unfortunate reality that is our everyday lives. Um, Assemblyman Lowe, this is a delicate question to ask you, but initially, um, when the Southern California shooting happened and we knew that it was happening on the Lunar year, New Year and that it was in a neighborhood primarily made up, you know, of Asian American families, uh, there was that, you know, connection of this, is this another hate crime given the horror of the last couple of years within the Asian community? Come to find out that it, the perpetrator, the alleged perpetrator there is an Asian man. And here, it may be the same situation. How do you reconcile um, that kind of violence within the community that has already suffered so much from outside the community? Well, Jessica, it's a fair question to ask, uh, but the AAPI community is just like any other in which you're seeing the type of 
uh, tax towards the communities and the context is important. Of course, when we're thinking about uh, the increase of AAPI hate and the acknowledgement that that is real and that exists, but also to look at the specifics and being able to focus on what the true cause is really about. And given the information that we are presented before us at this moment in time, we know that it is in fact due to violence. We know that domestic violence specifically also impacts the AAPI community as well. So we must acknowledge the facts of the specifics and the call to keeping our community safe. And that's what the conversation uh, should be focused on in this period of time. My question is more about the stressors that may be imposed on the AAPI community in the last few years uh, and the level of stress um, that that may have been, who knows if that's involved or anything, but the, this level of stress on the community and whether that may have fueled any of this um, just because it has been such a difficult three years. Well, thank you for acknowledging that for our community, Jessica, which is with respect to being seen as perpetual foreigners, the previous president saying that this is the Kung flu or the China virus being attacked and the movement specifically to stop AAPI hate and now the devastation back to back uh, during a time in which in the state of California, by the way, we're going to celebrate this as the first official recognized holiday in the nation with respect to Lunar Near in the state of California. And unfortunately, this is taken away from us and that we're dealt with addressing this stark reality of that of firearms devastating our community. So of course, this has an impact on the psyche and the spirit of us as an AAPI community and the lingering notion, will we be able to be safe and comfortable in the coming weeks with respect to Lunar Near gatherings in the Bay Area, in Oakland and San Francisco and the South Bay as well too. And I just hope that members of our community can feel safe, can be rest assured that members of law enforcement will be diligent and our public leaders will do all that we can to be responsive and to help be proactive in keeping our members safe. State Assemblyman, uh, Assemblymember Evan Lowe, appreciate your time tonight and your perspective.